everyone. Today, let's talk about the sleeping disorders. Yay! Insomnia is the inability to sleep or abnormal wakefulness. It is the most common sleep disorder. It occurs due to systemic illness or mental conditions such as psychiatric problems, alcoholic addiction and drug addiction. Hypersomnia. What is hypersomnia? Hypersomnia is the excess sleep or excess need to sleep. Yes, exactly. Hypersomnia is the excess sleep or excess need to sleep. It occurs because of lesion in the floor of the third ventricle, brain tumors, encephalitis, chronic bronchitis and disease of muscles. Hypersomnia also occurs in endocrine disorders such as myxedema and diabetes insipidus. Narcolepsy and Cataplexy Narcolepsy is the sudden attack of uncontrollable sleep. Cataplexy is sudden outburst of emotion. Both the diseases are due to hypothalamic disorders. Sleep Apnea Syndrome Can anyone tell me what sleep apnea is? Sleep apnea is the temporary stoppage of breathing repeatedly during sleep. Yes, sleep apnea is the temporary stoppage of breathing repeatedly during sleep. Sleep apnea syndrome is the disorder that involves fluctuations in the rate and force of respiration during REM sleep with short apneic episode. The apnea is due to decreased stimulation of respiratory centers, arrest of diaphragmatic movements, airway obstruction or the combination of all these factors. When breathing stops, the resultant hypercapnia and hypoxia stimulate respiration. Sleep apnea syndrome occurs in obesity, myxedema, enlargement of tonsil and lesion in brainstem. The common feature of this syndrome are loud snoring, restless movements, nocturnal insomnia, daytime sleepiness, morning headache and fatigue. In severe conditions, hypertension, right heart failure and stroke occur. Now next let's talk about the nightmare. Nightmare is a condition during sleep that is characterized by a sense of extreme uneasiness or discomfort or by frightful dreams. The discomfort is felt as of some heavy weight on the stomach or chest or as uncontrolled movement of the body. After a period of extreme anxiety, the subject wakes with a troubled state of mind. It occurs mostly during REM sleep. Nightmare occurs due to improper food intake, digestive disorders or nervous disorders. It also occurs during drug withdrawal or alcohol withdrawal. Next let's talk about night terror. Have you all heard about night terror? Night terror is a disorder similar to nightmare. It is common in children. It is also called paver nocturnes or sleep terror. The child awakes screaming in a state of fright and semi-consciousness. The child cannot recollect the attack in the morning. Nightmare occurs shortly after falling asleep and during non-REM sleep. There is no psychological disturbance. Somnambulism Somnambulism is getting up from bed and walking in the state of sleep. It is also called walking during sleep or sleepwalking. Somnus means sleep. Ambulance means to walk. It varies from just sitting up in the bed to walking around with eyes open and performing some major complex task. The episode lasts for few minutes to half an hour. It occurs during non-REM sleep. In children, it is associated with bed wetting or night terror without any psychological disturbance. However, in adults, it is associated with psychoneurosis. 
nocturnal enuresis what is nocturnal enuresis it is the involuntary voiding of urine at bed it is also called as bed wetting it is common in children movement disorders during sleep movement disorders occur immediately after falling asleep sleep start or hypnic jerk is the common movement disorder during sleep it is characterized by sudden jerks of arms or legs the sleep start is a physiological form of clonus the other movement disorders are teeth grinding which is also known as bruxism banging the head and restless movement of arms or legs i hope you all have enjoyed today's session Okay see you all soon have a good day bye bye